Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Creator God, and today I want to talk about characters, characters that are often ignored by the authors. So if we look at Usopp from One Piece as an example, Usopp was a sensational character when we met him with so much potential, and yet he seemed to have made such little progress throughout the story as it went. And here I want to talk about another character who was also introduced, and when they were introduced, they caused a riot. They brought the fever, the energy, the music, and they gave it the all. And the name of that character is Hakari. And Hakari, 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 a character with so much potential and energy, yet sidelined and ignored, apart from his riveting introduction. Remember, the gambling club, Panda, the sliding doors, beautiful. And the fight against Kashimo, Hakari failed to truly bring us the music and instead had a pivotal fight against a character that we desperately needed to know more information about and the story is essentially over because we didn't get to see that fight and we didn't get to figure out Urume's full story. Why did she, he, she, they decide to follow Sukuna? We don't know. Is it just that the strength was the only thing that they cared about when we finally or when we initially meet hikari he's he's a hot-headed and a gambler his gambling habits so strong that his whole course technique was based on it such a fantastic idea where he gambles his luck versus his opponent's abilities and power to only see him utilize the ability properly in one fight left too many of us feeling robbed and unsatisfied with his character arc but did he even have an arc? Was he ever supposed to? Why did he get introduced and then shoved to the side so abruptly? It's not like he's an uninteresting and weak character. And what I mean by his character arc, we meet a hot-headed gambler who risks it all, and yet there's no consequences for his risk. And yet, he doesn't change, he doesn't progress. There's no difference between the Hakari we meet and the Hakari at the end of the story, he was still seeking the fever. And we didn't even get to witness the fullness of his fever. Because he was sidelined. To only see him utilize his ability properly against Kashimo alone. Why? Hakari had the fever and gave many of his supporters the same feeling. And yet the author, Gege, refused to fulfill this fever for his character arc and for the story. Why would such a pivotal fight be sidelined? If Urume would have won, she could have assisted Sukuna by getting rid of any pesky assistance from the Jujutsu crew or at the very least got rid of Ui Ui. If Akari had won, he could add another heavy header to the fight, making it now impossible for Suk Sukuna to succeed. His consistent pressure and near instant RCT would prevent Sukuna from catching a break despite any technique he could use. Jacob's ladder would be more useful. All of these techniques would be more useful because Hakari's pressure would outdo Yuji's because he can instantly heal from any slash apart from the wall cut in slash, perhaps. Gege failed Hakari's character. At the very least, Hakari's fight with Urume should have been showcased front and center or at least a few panels here and there to show what is happening instead of them just talking chit chatting and without us seeing any action but unfortunately we did not get any of that a character with so much potential and one of the best fights in the whole series against kashimo was completely left out in a fight at the end the climax of the story perhaps gege did not know how to showcase their abilities but how when these characters have such intriguing ability ice frozen fossils fever heat But alas, we received nothing. A boy who was kicked out of Jujutsu High for beating up elders and disagreeing with the hierarchy and the current regime. What could have been? What should have been? Hakari was a character ignored and neglected by Gege, but he deserved better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. It's been your boy Supreme Cheetah God. I'm out.